Hey everybody, welcome. It's another Music Monster Live Draw from Comics Workshop over on MerrickBennett.com. And I always start off with a thanks to the patrons on the Patreon. It's been a crazy year and you guys have made it possible for joining the Patreon, helping us do all these live draws. Really nice to draw with you. And um, so today we're doing uh, accordion monsters. I guess I should doodle a few shapes and get started here. I'll just scribble some shapes, get my imagination going. And then I always look for monsters in these shapes. You know, you can find critters anywhere and turn them into crazy monsters, using your imagination, jumpstarting your, jumpstarting your imagination and getting it going. Oh my goodness. These monsters look ready to go. They are ready to sing tonight. All right. So let's turn this page over and we'll get started on our accordion monsters. Oh, tonight I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm going to do a split screen accordion monster here. I'll give you two examples of accordion monster. You can draw one or both. Let's see what we come up with here. Feel free to drop comments if you're joining us on Facebook Live, and then this will be archived later. So if you're joining us by archived video, feel free to head over to the Patreon and sign up there and you can see all the printables. All right, so monsters, let's see. Well, first thing, let's draw accordions, right? There's gonna be, this is, a, we'll do a simple accordion here. Um, one kind of accordion, we're gonna make a whole bunch of little lines in a row. You see that? And we're gonna sort of curve it. There's gonna be an imaginary line here that connects them all. And we'll kind of curve this row of lines, see that? how they sort of curve. They're a little further apart at the top, a little closer at the bottom. And this is gonna be the, the bellows of our accordion. You'll see how that works in a moment. So we'll curve it like a upside down smile like that. All right. And then the other kinds, number two, we'll call this number one, accordion number one and accordion number two. There's a first chair and a second chair accordion in our monster orchestra. Again, draw whichever you want or draw them both or draw a different kind. If you can think of a different kind. The other kind, let's curve it up a little bit. So this is this is the accordion that's opening up with the hands going down. This will be the accordion that's opening up with the hands going up. So I'm going to put all these lines together like this along this curve. See how they're farther apart on the bottom, closer on the top. So there's it ends up being this sort of caterpillar curve going up. Now this imaginary smile line here, we're just gonna erase that. Or you can leave it in there. I didn't even mention it. We're starting off drawing in pencil first. So anything we put down can be erased, can disappear, can be changed. That's what I call the pie process, right? So we're drawing in pencil first, then we'll evaluate, make any changes we need. Then we'll come in and we'll ink, and then we'll erase all our pencil lines and we'll be left just with the beautiful inked drawing. So right now, with the pencil, we're just establishing the basic shapes. Again, you could draw both of these accordion monsters, or you could do choose one and focus on one. Um, so this is the accordion curving down. See that invisible line curving down? You're not going to see that at all when we're done, but the accordion body will be there. This is the accordion curving up, and that's my dog barking in the background. It's been snowing all day here. I'm just sitting here with a cup of tea. I actually have two pots of monster stew on the stove. So if I suddenly stop drawing and go running out of the room and you hear silence for a couple seconds, it's because I am, uh, something's boiling over on the stove or the dog's barking or both. All right, so I've got my two accordions. Now let's give these accordions, each one of them will give a little rectangle box on either side. Aha, that, now that looks like an accordion, doesn't it? It's starting to. And this one, let's give it the box right here, just following that end line there. There we go. This is gonna look really cute. There, though, there will be two monsters. Maybe they're like monster twins playing accordion side by side, or, or maybe you can get creative and link them and have it be a two-headed, four-handed monster. I love the idea of a two-headed monster playing accordion. That'll, that'll be my next picture. I'm doing two different monsters here. And I think we'll do two different accordions too. Why not, right? So I'm, uh, I don't know if you're, I, I don't know if you play accordion or not, but I'll, I'll walk you through the two different kinds. First kind on this side, let's draw a little line partway through that rectangle there. And we're gonna give this one a keyboard. 
And on this one, we're just gonna give it buttons. So keyboard accordion, button accordion. All right, so for your keyboard, this will be the keyboard over here. We're just gonna draw a bunch of keys here. You can make them as close as they need to be or as far apart. I think I, if you wanna be detailed, you can make them more, you can give them more lines than that. I'm gonna keep my keys really big and cartoony because it's a little easier to see them. Let's just do one at a time. So we'll focus on this one. And then over on this side, you want to give it a couple, let's give it two rows of buttons. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll give one, two, three, four, five. They don't have to line up, but if you want to line them up a little diagonally, that'll be like an accordion button side. So we have the keyboard and the button. Oh, let's not forget over here, I'm going back and forth, but over here on the keyboard, Here's the pattern for the keyboard. We're gonna to wanna to put right on this line, a black box. And on the next line over, a black, that's a black key there. Then we'll skip one. We do one, two, skip, one, two, three. And however many keys you have on your keyboard, that's gonna be the pattern. One, two, skip, one, two, three, skip. And I guess we won't try to fit one in there. It's going to be a one octave accordion right there. All right, now here's what ties it together and makes it an accordion, right? So this is our fun monster accordion. We can decorate it. We can give it horns, spikes, swirls. You know, we'll, we'll get into that later. Let's first tie it together. We're going to put a little V between the tops of those lines. See that? And I'll do the same thing here. Ah, ha, ha. I love that, how the shape starts to come out. I'm just connecting the tops of the lines with little Vs, and then one by one, suddenly those aren't just lines there. That's like the body, that's the bellows as the accordion opens up as our monster player, who we can't see yet, plays it. Hey, let's draw an invisible monster accordionist, right? Hey, we're done. And now I'm doing upside down Vs, and you notice they're a lot smaller here I try to keep them the same vertical height, but they're a lot squished, more squished in together because this is the small side of the curve and this is the big side of the curve. That's looking really fun. And if your rectangles like mine aren't perfect rectangles, that I think that makes it look cuter and more interesting. Maybe these accordions are kind of wobbly and wonky as they play. And that gives the music a certain sound that's gonna come out of this accordion. Now it is time to start to put a monster behind this accordion because this is music monster drawing, right? Basic cartooning of music monsters. So let's do this. Um, let's give ourselves like, give yourself a shape. I'm gonna do sort of a smooth shape, but on one side, I'm gonna take a big bite out of it. And you know what that's gonna be. That right there. Well, I guess it could be a huge eye or something, right? But I'm gonna make it a mouth. I like my monsters to have big mouths. And this is a monster who is singing. So you can give your monster, you can give it the shape. It can be square, pointy, uh, round, then give it a mouth. It can be curved up or down, it can be round or square. Give it some teeth, they can be pointy. Let's do pointy teeth. They'll sort of mirror the accordion shapes here. You can do round teeth or square teeth or all different shapes of teeth. I'm gonna give my monster slightly different size teeth, jagged teeth. Uh, if it's a singing monster and this monster is crooning as it plays, let's give it a tongue. I like to wobble the tongue like that. Make it as thick as you want or as thick as the mouth allows. I like to give my monsters split tongues like a snake tongue. Oh, I like how, I, I didn't plan this, but I think my monster's kind of leaning back a little. Maybe it can lean back even more. Look at that. That's why I'd like to pencil, just throw down some ideas and see how they look. And it's leaning back and it's singing and at the top of its monster lungs. Now I'm gonna go about halfway back on this mouth, maybe a little more than halfway. And I'll give sort of a curve echoing this curve. See, I can follow that curve just over a little bit. And that's gonna create the cavern of the mouth. And I think I'm just gonna, I will color that in black, but with the pencil, I just kind of lightly scribble it. That makes that mouth whoa, open up really big. Look at that, like, like see the shadowed side of my hand here, whoa, as this monster sings. Give your monster as many eyes as you want. I think my monster's singing so hard 
that these eyes are just shut squinty monster Vs, maybe with a little wrinkle in the middle like that. Yeah, I like that. And as many horns as you want. I think my monster has like spikes coming back off it. Sort of like the teeth, sort of like the accordion shape. Oh, and that kind of flows off the back of the monster's head and gives it a real voice, right? If you have suggestions or questions about these monsters, go ahead and you can put them in the comments if you're joining us live. Um, and if you're watching the video afterwards, head on over to the Patreon and you can see the printables and the finished artwork for all our music monsters. Um, did you catch a couple weeks ago our Monday music monsters were the banjo players, right? And then we also have the, the guitarist is happening here, but those are all over at the Patreon. Let's give our monster some hands and a body and feet, and then we'll move over to this other monster here. Um, and then, then we'll look at what they, what they turn into with ink. So for my fingers here, um, the, the nice part about the accordion like this is you can't see the monster's arms. You just have to imagine the monster's arms coming out. And then we'll do fingers here. So the fingers are going to watch this. They're going to curve around. I'm coming out from behind the keyboard and curving around. And maybe this will be a pointy one, pointy talon. And I'll just give it a line like that. And then, so I just curved around behind the keyboard, came a little in front of it, and then went back to the edge of the keyboard there. Then if I erase this line, or if I just don't ink it, does that look like that finger's kind of reaching around the keyboard and then grabbing the key, right, and playing it? That, look, that, that looks really cool. Let's just do the other two fingers out like that. Oh, yes. Nice. So that monster's holding one note with one finger. Let's do maybe two fingers curving around here. So I'm going to aim this, bring it from behind the body of the accordion. I'll aim it for a button, then I'll bring it back. That looks cool. Maybe two fingers on the chord buttons. These buttons play the lower bass chords here. So maybe this monster is like really ronking on those chords and then one finger out, one claw, I should say. Let's give our monster, this monster with a round head, I think this monster kind of has a round body, maybe like a monster dragon belly. So I'll give it like a round shape there and maybe like those dragon stripes that some, uh, you know, musical dragons have on their bellies. That's kind of cool. And then let's see, um, maybe the legs are like, uh, off to the side and down, just kind of curving. And probably they should have fingers like the uh, claws, like the fingers. Maybe they have like another toe there. So I'll just do those little V, 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 and a backwards V for the thumb toe, backwards V for the thumb toe, V, V, V. And that becomes, let's erase this line here, and that becomes your monster. If you want it to have a tail, we can give it a tail here. I'll give it a nice fat tail that connects to the bottom like that and connects to the top up here and goes behind that leg, see? And those spikes, oh, those spikes are gonna continue down. There you go. Well, there's our first kind of accordion monster, right? Now we, we still have this one to try. And we said this was gonna be a button accordion monster. <laughs> and let's do a totally different kind of monster playing it um, just for fun. That's pretty cool. I like how those legs are crouching like this monster's set to play a real loud note, all its effort going into singing and playing. This monster's gonna be a little different. Let's do two rows of buttons here, as many as you want or as many as you can fit in. They can line up or be diagonal, diagonally offset. No one's gonna call you on monster accordion accuracy. Let's do like a couple rows of fewer buttons on this side. This is a button accordion monster here. Um, we already know we can do the Vs to connect these, or if you want, you can do sort of a, a U, see how that changes the look of the accordion. Makes it a little softer in the connection there, right? A little more like a Batman kind of accordion, actually. And this is the big side here. Yeah, it looks like Batman's cape. Give it a little curl there. 
that makes it subtle, but this accordion looks rounder and this accordion looks pointier. It's going to sound different when your reader reads the what the music looks like. And we haven't even drawn the music in here. That'll be the challenge after we're done here. Draw some music playing around them, lyrics or notes or, or imagery to make that music really sound different. All right, this one, I'm going to try, like I said, something totally different. This monster is not singing at all. Let's give it two big eyes or three or one, whatever you want for your monster. Maybe we'll make it slightly cross-eyed, make those, or, or if you want it to really sound crazy, put one of those eyes looking up a little higher than the other. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. And you know my little trick, I like to, instead of blacking the eyeballs completely, I will leave a little white spot on each. Can you see that? See that little white spot left at the top of each as if the light's shining off them. And then this one, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go full monster fur. So let's give it those eyebrows. I love to do these eyebrows, like several lines shooting off like a comet tail off these eyes. And then under those lines, we'll give it slightly shorter lines that are a little closer together and a little darker. And let's just bring all those lines coming, each line coming off the eye and tuck it behind the accordion. Doesn't that look cool? That's gonna make your accordion look super, uh, super solid. Even though you haven't drawn a thing there, it looks really solid, doesn't it? That's what these details will do on the page, in, especially when you add details and then suddenly stop the details. It makes that accordion look nice and solid. I'm doing the same thing on this eye, lines coming off of each eye. And now that monster kind of looks like it's exploding fur behind the accordion. Let's. Um, if you want to have like a crest on the top, you do those longer hairs there and then shorter, shorter, shorter in between. If you want to have horns, now's a great time to, or later is a good time. You can do wavy horns or curly horns or whatever you like for horns on your monsters. I'm doing my little rounded lines along the horns that can be either stripes or those little bumps on goat horns. Um, and, oh, I kind of like how this monsters, I don't have to draw a, a real realistic body because this monster, I'm just bringing the fur down behind the accordion like that. We'll make it kind of blobby and rounded. I can curve those lines back in to make it seem like the monster's body is kind of rounded underneath. And then we'll give it some little feet. Oh, you know, I think this monster doesn't quite go all the way to the ground. Kind of discovering this as we draw. Let's give it like three little feet tucked under the fur there. Make your fur as long as it needs to be. Three little, three little feet, three little toes. Doesn't it kind of look like it, it can be hopping? Put a shadow under here. And it's like leaping into the air to play. You could draw like a little round seat and some legs, make it a stool, surprise yourself with it, whatever you think needs to be there. Um, I haven't decided yet. As I'm inking, I'll either, I'll either erase those, that stool and the legs and let it be hopping as it's playing, jumping up and down, or, um, or I'll draw something fancy in there. Oh, fingers. We need some fingers to be playing this accordion. Ah, let's see. Well, we did pointy claws here. What if we had sort of round, what if, we did a round finger coming around from behind the keyboard, going right over one of the buttons. And let's do like three fingers here. And let's do one over two buttons side by side and the other ones reaching way out here to that button. That's kind of cool. And maybe, maybe this monster has like painted fingernails on there. And maybe there's one of those fingers on that button and one of those fingers on that button and one finger up in the air here, whatever. Surprise yourself with that. Let your monster surprise you, I should say. And do little painted fingernails on there. Oh, that's so cute. I think I will probably erase this stool because I think, I think it looks really cool how that monster is like jumping. I need to give it like a little tail of some sort and maybe a puff ball, maybe, oh, I, I know fur that matches its other fur, right? Maybe like a puff of fur on the end of the tail. 
Hmm. And then if you want, you know, this could be inking. You can darken around those eyes to give it a little more character. But I think I'm about at the point where these are really different monsters. Haven't decided how I'm going to draw the music around them. I'll let you sort of figure that out on your own monsters. Let's give this monster a little shadow so they both cast a shadow. Just scribble under there. That really gives your monster some weight, doesn't it? Makes your monster sort of stand up tall. Makes it clearly a floor underneath. Those toes don't quite reach the floor. It looks like it's stomping and stepping. Cool. I like the actions we found here. Um, all right. So the next step, I'll show you the first part of the next step. Remember, we're penciling our monsters. We're evaluating as we go and, and making any changes we need to do. Then we're going to ink them. Then we actually will erase all the visible pencil lines to be left only with ink. So I'm taking out a, a felt tip flare pen here. Or, you know, I might even take out, I like to start with my uh, watercolor marker and I'll do the main, the biggest shapes that I really want to stand out on these accordions. So I'll go in and I'll trace over these pencil lines. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear this, but in the background, as I'm drawing, my dog is chewing on a a, a gigantic bone, and uh, I can just hear this gnawing sound, which is somehow really appropriate for drawing monsters to have coming through the door uh, in the other room, this <laughs> sound of utter enjoyment, gnawing enjoyment. Oh, doesn't that look cool? Now, one thing I, I'm going to go back to penciling because I did mention we can decorate these accordions. Monsters do like really fancy accordions with lots of stitchery and rhinestones. So any kind of decorations you want to put on there, I'm putting a series of S swirls on here. And maybe along these lines, a little dot of stitchery. This could also be the sort of thing, once I like the look of that, and I do like the look of that. It makes the accordion more detailed. I might just do that automatically as I ink. So here's what, let me just do these fingers. Because I think those fingers are, are important shapes that need to jump out to your eye. I'll probably do the whole outline of this monster. And then I'll go in and let's just do that. And then I'll go in and do the finer details inside with my inking pen. There we go. I'll do those teeth with my inking pen, that mouth too. Let's get that face down. And remember when you're inking, you're trying to make this picture super, super readable to anybody, especially people who are social distancing away from you. Six feet or more. That's actually for years I've said that's the testing distance that I test my artwork out at. As I'm drawing, it's not, can you see it when you're up close? It's when you walk by like six or eight feet away, does this monster like jump off the page and grab your eye and say, hey, look at me, I'm singing music. Because that's what the ink can do. When you're penciling, it's kind of cool. You can see all the details. Once you ink it, it leaps off the page. That's a survival tactic for cartoons, for any kind of artwork. How do you grab the reader's eye? Maybe grabbing is too rude. You know, how do you how do you get the message out to the reader's eye and, and captivate them and, and help them see your story? Now, watch this. I'm gonna come in with my marker and very carefully do a little monster dentistry. We need to do some shadows around those teeth, right into the corners but not touching, not getting over the teeth at all. So I will very carefully black that mouth and look at that. Suddenly that monster, like I said, it, it, it's 10 times more jump off the pagey, right? It's 10 times louder. It's uh, much more vociferous as it sings. So I'm gonna remember that too. And maybe, maybe if I wanna be super kind of realistic, I might go in, and do lots of little lines, right? Curving around close to the accordion and curving around that monster's belly. And that might help it look like it's holding the accordion out in front and a shadow is falling underneath it. Here, I don't think I need to do that so much. Or maybe I'll just subtly darken the, the fur right under the accordion there. 
you know, just like there's a shadow where the monsters cast a shadow on the ground, I guess that light's coming down and it's going to cast a shadow under the accordion too. So I might darken the fur along that shadow line there. Right? That might, or you don't have to get that detailed, right? These are cartoon monsters. So you can be as detailed as you're comfortable with. If you're thinking you're going to color your monsters, I would recommend leaving a good amount of uh, space because you don't want to have too many details inked on there. It makes it very hard to color. The other thing I always recommend if you're going to color your monster accordionists is uh, make a copy of the black and white version, just in case you want to go back to black and white. All right, so I'm doing these live draws all month. They're, they're basically like 15 to 25, 15 to 20, sometimes 25 minute live draws. I'm trying to keep them pretty quick, but pack a lot of cool stuff in. We've got our music monsters every Monday. And then every Friday, we're doing some cool designs, which I don't have here at the moment, but we'll see you Friday if you can join us. And we'll do, um, I think we're doing like winter birds and things. Some cool imaginative designs that have been really fun to do on Fridays. Um, and like I said, if you join us over on the Patreon, you can sign up there. Just click join. You can join at any amount and you'll be able to get all the invites and get the updates and the printables. Um, and you help us make all these Comics Workshop live draws that I'm putting out publicly for everybody to use. Um, and I really appreciate it, patrons. Welcome to a couple new patrons this month so far. Really appreciate you being there and your, your feedback and your participation and your artwork and your, uh, just the, the encouragement we're able to give each other drawing together like this. And the ideas we get from each other, just the fact of, just the act of creating these imaginative images together teaches us so much about communication and about our own imaginations, about what people respond to. I will be in schools all week this week doing some virtual residency comics workshops. So I'm looking forward to that. But when I get a chance, I will finish inking these monsters. And I will post them over there on the Patreon. Um, got a bunch of videos coming out too. So make sure you join the Insta, Facebook, YouTube circuits. Oh, look, I think those legs need thick lines too, because they come out away from the body like that. I want them to sort of jump out, not a thin line. The thin lines are finer details. And the thick lines really jump out. That's an old cartooning trick been around for, well, I was going to say at least 100 years, but probably more like thousands of years using lines to cartoon simple characters and grab the reader's eye. I think those belly stripes will be thin lines because they don't jump out quite the same. Let's just, we'll finish up. We'll just do that shadow and then we'll go work on our own monsters. Let's see. See, I'm using fine, fine black lines all close together to hopefully that'll look kind of grayish, darker under that accordion. Just an experiment. Now maybe I need grayish lines on the, under the legs or, you know, I'll have the same kind of gray here, scratchy gray on the ground. All right, so keep drawing, keep experimenting. Keep building your monster band. Now it's getting to be a monster orchestra. We'll put these accordion players with our banjo and guitar players. And I forget who's next week, but uh, we'll see you next Monday for Monday, Musical Monster Monday. Um, and over on the Patreon for all those precise invites and uh, other events that are going on. All right, I'm gonna erase this one just to see how it looks. And then I will get inking the other one. Have a great week, everybody. And I look forward to seeing your Musical Monsters. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, patrons. Right. La 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 la.